Hey dog lovers, welcome back to my kitchen and today we are making paw, nose, body butter. And this is the end result. As you can see, I use it all the time. What I like to use this for is to actually carry these little guys, the essential oils. So when you put the essential oils on, you can kind of spread it all around. We are using shea butter, which is a really great moisturizer. And this is what shea butter looks like. I didn't know, I've never worked with shea butter before until I started making this wax. It's, it's buttery, it's kind of slimy. Also using beeswax, which is a good protector. In case you want to see what this looks like, these are the little pellets that you can find on Amazon. I'll link to it in my stories. And then you can choose. I really like this brand. And I'm using a mixture of olive oil and avocado oil. We're gonna melt these guys together along with some coconut oil from my favorite store, Traders. All of a sudden, I have a southern accent. I'm not from the south, I'm from New York. I actually just cured Laker of a huge zit on his butt. I put frankincense and Murray essential oil on a little tiny tip like this, put it on him, next day, gone. Completely done. I do that on my face too. If you want a little tip for yourself. What we're gonna do is make two more and I'm gonna give these away because I don't need three jars of paw wax. Once we have all these ingredients back here in this double broiler, it's just a pan pot with a bowl on top. I made this bowl by the way, thank you very much. We've got this melting all together. Since we all know I have the most major pouring issues on camera ever, which in real life, I'm a great pourer by the way, but for some reason on camera, I'm a terrible pourer. Here is, holy shit, that's hot. We're gonna wait a little bit on this. Let's dance. Okay, we're back. This is melted and cooled. Hold on, the revivalists are getting a little spicy. What we haven't put in there yet is the essential oils and the vitamin E. You don't wanna put these in while the flame is on. It ruins all the qualities of this stuff. And I'm gonna put about five drops in. That's per jar. Let's hope we get it in here. Perfect. Though I know that's not that good for TV when I'm nice and clean. We don't do clean in this house. Kinda looks like pee in a jar, but it's not. So, if you want this paw wax that I just made with my own hands, go on over to my YouTube page by swiping up and subscribe for me and you will be entered to win some paw wax. All right guys, my dogs are staring at me like I'm a freak, so I'm going to go play with them and I will see you next time.